like everybody who ever in sports, the latest the top 10 NFL teams ever gotten out on should be going out Saturday, I think. But here we are. Uh, so it's going to get out Saturday. And uh, hopefully, you know, by week three, work starts slowing down a little bit for uh, umpiring, of course. So hopefully we'll have more time to get back into the videos and fully merge in the NFL scene. Because a lot of things I do want to talk about just have not found the time lately to actually record about it. But, you know, that's the thing, man, time, whatever. Top 10 NFL teams for week two. Let's get right into it. Kicking things off with the Green Bay Packers. Beating the Chicago Bears 27 to 10. This offense has found its identity. It's Aaron Jones and Aaron Dillon and Aaron Rodgers all having a connection and making a play. And defense first. Beating the Bears 27 to 10. Really limiting Justin Fields. Jay Alexander got a really nice pick there at the end of the game. For this Packers, for this Packers team, I got him at 10 because I don't think the offense is dynamic enough yet. It's still early in the season. This offense can obviously be way more dynamic. I mean, it has potential to be dynamic. But right now, the offense is still working out the early year kinks that we knew it would. And the defense is still questionable at times. Uh, Dave Montgomery just ran all over us. They did a good job holding him to no points. But I think that's more on the Bears' offense just being bad. The Packers' defense being good. But I have the Packers at 10. I think they're a top 10 team with Aaron Rodgers at under quarterback so i got him at 10 uh but beat the bears 27 to 10 and i think there's potential for this team to move up but as of right now i got these nine teams that i'd probably take over the green bay packers at number nine i got the rams and i'm moving them down even though they won and the only reason why they're at nine even still in the top 10 is because i know there's too much talent on this team for this team not to be a top 10 NFL team um but should have kind of blown out the falcons kind of let them back in there almost had to but jalen ramsey comes in gets the interception Stafford doesn't look good. This team has a left tackle problem. The entire offensive line doesn't even look good. The defense letting Desmond, or not Desmond, Marcus Mariota, who should be starting, by the way. Uh, Marcus Mariota kind of run all over him. Sloppy plays out there. But yeah, the Rams have too much talent on this team not to be a top 10 team. They are the Super Bowl champions. We still got to remember that. And remember, like last year, the Chiefs started off slow, didn't look as dominant as they should have maybe let a couple teams come back in. But they're still top 10. TVs weren't ranking them as high. That's what I got with the Rams right now. I got them at number nine. Uh, number eight is the Baltimore Ravens. An insane game. Two of throwing six touchdown passes. Lamar Jackson looking like an MVP out there for him. Running, throwing, passing the ball. Sadly, his defense couldn't give enough as the Dolphins beat the Ravens 42-30 to on the road. A Tua tongue of my little breakout game. I think a lot of people sleep it on Tua. Uh, throwing the deep ball, had the insane connection with Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. This offense looks great. Mike McDaniel in the right system. Tua is working. They finally got their offense behind a head coach. I mean, throwing six touchdown passes. Now, two ugly interceptions. Yeah, but throwing six touchdown passes, that's insane. Lamar Jackson still did everything he could to. Uh, the Ravens blowing a little bit of a lead here. Uh, had a big lead going into the fourth quarter and then couldn't hold on to it. So that is bad class management and bad defense. I got the Ravens falling to eight. I still think they're a top 10 team. This team is going to be very dangerous to play, especially with Lamar Jackson looking like that. He's on a mission. He they The Baltimore Ravens didn't pay him. He's going to find someone to pay him. Baltimore Ravens, I got an eight. Number seven, got the Philadelphia Eagles. At, or not, no, the Minnesota Vikings who lost the Eagles 24 to seven. Let me just say, Kirk Cousins in the prime time is terrible. Uh, Jalen Hurts is that guy. 24 set was hitting Quez walking. A.J. Brown was getting involved. Uh, Devontae Smith getting involved. Darius Slay picking off Kirk Cousins twice. I mean, he locked down Justin Jefferson, who might be the best receiver in football right now. It's not. It's Devontae Adams, but he's definitely top five, and Darius Slay locking him down. This Eagles team looks complete. I think this Eagles team might be the best team in the NFC by the end of the year. If they can keep this up and stay healthy, this team looks complete. They got the offense with Jalen Hurts with big playability and running ability. They had two rushing touchdowns. And this defense with Darius Slay, Chauncey Gunner Johnson back there, James Bradbury up front, still Fletcher Cox, Josh Sweat coming off the edge. This Eagles team looks good. Now with the Vikings, I still got them at seven. Uh, but Kirk Cousins is the reason you are not Super Bowl year. Every year you need to find a new quarterback because in primetime games like this against good teams and not a week one game against the Green Bay Packers, because trust me, Green Bay will win this division by the end of the year. Uh, but you can't look like that. I know it was on the road, but still Kirk Cousins never looked good in Monday Night Football. Uh, I got the Vikings at seven. Number five, we got, or excuse me, number six, we got the Los Angeles Chargers uh, beating the, losing to the Chiefs 27-24. And it's Justin Herbert, man. He is a warrior. Was hurt. Was literally grabbing his ribs. Couldn't step in to throw. Still throwing dots. Still throwing touchdown passes. Uh, sadly, though, a pick six. Ugly pick six in that game cost them. But the Chiefs are proving they can beat you multiple different ways. The offense is struggling. The defense steps up. The offense is still as explosive as ever without Tyreek Hill. Travis Kelsey is still the best tight end in football. Adding Juju Smith-Schuster. Shit, Clyde Edwards-Alaire looks pretty damn good now because he is doing... He's, he's showing the most potential he has. 
all year. So they get the run game involved along with Patrick Mahomes. This is going to be a scary team. But I have the Chargers at six. I still think they're a good team. They still have a talented defense. Hopefully Justin Herbert will be okay at the end of the year because that guy, that kid is going to be really good. It's going to be an interesting race now. Chiefs Chargers down the stretch. But at Arrowhead, Chiefs get the win 27-24. Number five, I have the Dolphins. Uh, they're, I think they're a top five team. I think they're better than the Chargers right now just because I think two is finally connecting. I'd probably take the Chargers defense over theirs. Haven't seen too much impressive. But Dolphins defense did what it did at the end to keep them in that game and get the win. I have Dolphins at five. Number four, the Bucks, And this offense is kind of running into the same problem the Packers are. Is they're running out of receivers. Godwin is hurt. Julio is hurt. Mike Evans is suspended. But the Bucks beating the Saints 2010. Him and Marshall Lattimore having the biggest rivalry in football uh, besides the Broncos and the play clock. Uh, but so the Bucks beat the Saints. Their defense still looks good as ever, but this offense looks shaky. And with Mike Evans suspended now, that is their number one receiver going in. Uh, gonna be Scotty Miller. I mean, they're just running out of receivers out there. Kind of a problem with Green Bay, but hey, we're gonna see that matchup on Sunday. But the Bucks, uh, they're still until they don't have Tom Brady and until they're not winning, they're looking like the best team in the NFC. I'm keeping up top of the NFC, but I got one team in the NFC better than them. And that is the Philadelphia Eagles. I talked about it. They look the most complete. I think they're going to win this NFC East kind of easily now with uh, Cooper Rush being the quarterback for the Cowboys. Although, give him credit. He he beat the Bengals, so we got to give him credit there. But I think this Eagles team looks way too good. Eagles beat Vikings 24-7. I got them as number three right now. I'm going to be bold. I'll put the Eagles at three. I'm calling it the Eagles look legit this year. Eagles at three. That take may come back to haunt me. But number two, we got the Chiefs beating the Chargers. And that means, of course, the best team again is the Buffalo Bills. And they're really good as they steamrolled the Titans 41-7. to Josh Allen is good. That defense is, is even better. Holding Derrick Henry to less than 50 yards. I mean, stopping Derrick Henry, stopping Ryan Tannehill. We got to see Malik Wills play. This offense still explodes. This team is the best team in football. And it's hard to see anyone that's going to beat them. Chiefs at two. Again, their defense can step up. Patrick Mahomes is still Patrick Mahomes. They're the second best team in football right now. I can't wait to see these two teams play in the AFC playoffs. Um, but that is my top 10 NFL teams for week two. Number 10 is Green Bay Packers. Nine Rams, eight Ravens, seven Vikings, six Chargers, five Dolphins, four Bucks, three Eagles, two Chiefs. Number one is the Buffalo Bills. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and of course, thank you for listening.